Holly from Twinkle and today I'm going to be showing you loop cards but specifically how to use multiplication loop cards. Loop cards are a fantastic resource especially in maths. They're very simple much like dominoes. Each card has a I have box and a who has box. The I have box is an answer and the who has is a question however they don't match. One person reads who has for example, three times two, then the person with the correct answer will read their who has question, and so on until the loop ends and is back to the first person's card. Loop cards can be used as a whole class. In this way, each child will probably have one card. For example, here, a class could be going over the two, five, and 10 times tables at the start of year three. The first child reads their question, two times something equals 24. The child with the correct answer reads their answer, 12 then asks their question. 10 divided by something equals two. And so on until the loop ends. You can get the whole class involved in this, ensuring each child is practicing their times tables, even though they're not involved in that exact question. By having the class raise their hand, showing a thumbs up or down to show if they agree with the answer. Loop cards can be used in small groups. These could be ability groups and children would have a few cards each. One child would start, again read their question, and then the children would have to shuffle through their cards to find if they have the correct answer card. And so on until the group has finished. For example, a group of children who have learnt or are still learning their three, four and eight times tables could play together. Alternatively, it could be a timed activity and groups raced against other groups to finish the loop first. You could use loop cards at home with your child to test their knowledge of their times tables that they are currently learning. Equally, your child could play alone like a game of dominoes to practice their times tables, just to ensure those cards are shuffled first. Some of the multiplication loop cards are editable, so you can edit them to suit your child's needs. Some multiplication loop cards include division questions and have the questions written in different styles like these while others include multiplication and division, missing numbers, like this loop card pack. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy playing with the multiplication loop cards. Bye for now!